Hey everybody, Ken hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm doing a review of another set of headphones. This is the Ico IKKO OH1s. Check it out. Well, I'm doing a review here of the Ico OH1s. These are a 10 millimeter driver uh, set of in-ear monitors. I have not listened to them yet, so you're gonna get to see me do the unboxing and listen to them and give my honest opinion on these guys and see if they're uh, they're gonna be any good. Now, just so you know, for the way that I do any reviews, um, you know everything I, I say is honest and unbiased, as well as it's focused on the live musician as the end user. So I'm not necessarily reviewing this product for the person that is you know just on the subway or whatever listening to headphones which i'm sure they'd be good for that too but it's in the the live musician playing live in a band on stage that kind of thing so anyway let's uh let's dig into this and see what we have here like i said i haven't even opened this up yet so i'm excited to, to see what it is going to be like here See, packaging wise, pretty good. Oh wow, actually packaging wise, that's, that looks pretty cool. Let me just go over the specs really quick with the, the OH1s. They use the the drive unit, the driver itself is the Knowles 33518. I'm not sophisticated enough to know all the different drivers that are made or whatever, but I have noticed that on their documentation, even on the on the back of the box here, they've they've got that listed so um i i guess that's a good driver uh 10 millimeter driver so it's a it's a big speaker inside your ear sensitivity 106 db frequency range 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz that's a high frequency higher than any ear can hear plug size is 3.5 millimeter and then the cord length is a meter point two let's look at these see what how they feel Wow, they actually, they feel very nice. Let me see if that, it is. It's a metal uh, metal enclosure, which is nice. These look pretty cool. These look, look pretty cool. These, to me, they definitely pass the looks test. I think this is kind of interesting the way they have this um, set out here. They have vocal ear tips and then balanced ear tips I do not know my guess is that these black ones over here gonna be have more of the mid-range and then my guess is the balanced tips are gonna have more of bass happening you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to listen to these with one of these in the balanced ear tip and then one of them in the vocal ear tip and see if I can even hear the difference. So right off the bat, I'm gonna choose the smallest here uh, because for me, my ears are tiny for whatever reasons. Very, very cool. Now let's look and see what is in this. I like that it comes with a case. I also like um, that it comes with a, like a little fabric case that's not super bulky. Sometimes these cases, where, where I do appreciate that they, they send cases sometimes, uh, they're like, Big, bulky, like, let me show you, even like this shore case, you know, it's just a big, it's a big bulky case, and I mean, it's nice that it's got a zipper and stuff, but, um, you know, I like, the, I like, like this case, it's, it's nice. Anyway, cord here, it's got a left and a right, I'm assuming that, that the red is the right, blue on the left, red on the right, yep, it's always good to be able to be able to pick up your headphones and know which is which right off the bat. It's got a Velcro thing on the wire. It's, it's interesting, um, you know, you, you review enough of these kind of headphones, you can kind of tell what's good quality and what's not. And this seems like it is a, a good quality headphone. Um, let's see, I'd like to see a one of those things that pulls like this so that you can cinch it up in the back of your ears, but um, sometimes the cables don't do that. It's got a, a it's not a, doesn't seem like there's a wire in here, but it does have a good sheath on here that's going to 
wrap around your ear and stay secured. And then the plug on this side is a standard headphone jack and it's at a right angle. Actually, let me put these in here and see how they, they feel. And then at the end of this, I'll give a full, full review um, where I look at all the different things that I look at. The looks, the, the specs, the build quality, the sound, the comfort, all of that happening. Alright, I don't know if you can see that or not. How good. Comfort wise, it's interesting. Maybe it's just, I like the, it even seems like it's a little bit smaller here. The This one here, the, the vocal ear tips, I probably should have put it the other direction. But the, the black ones, they fit a little bit smaller in the ear than 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 these do. Okay, I'm going to listen to two songs, Sir Duke and Superstition, both by the great Stevie Wonder. And I've just listened to these songs so many times in different headphones. Play these songs, I'll be back in just a second. All right, I listened to just about 15 seconds of Superstition, and I can tell that these are different the tips really do make a difference. So I'm, uh, in order to make sure that I'm listening to this and being the f most fair with this I can, I'm gonna put uh, the same tips on the ears. That way I'm not, that way I'm getting a good balance of, of the same thing. So anyway, let me try that. So I'm using the, the vocal ear tips and yeah. All right, let's try it again. All right, well, I listened to actually three different tips. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I was giving it as most fair and um, informed review as possible. Going on the specs wise, the drivers, the frequency range, the sensitivity, plug size, all that, it, it's great. Specs, specs wise, they did a great job. I'm gonna give it a, a five out of five. Looks wise, looks are great. These things, um, you know, I wasn't sure how I would like necessarily, but kind of like this this look of the kind of like it's pounded metal type thing. But actually, they they look great. Um, I would have no problem wearing these. They look very professional. So I'm also going to give that a five out of five. Build quality, like I said before, the fact that this is metal is awesome. It's nice that there is a metal enclosure um, that's going to essentially keep your investment. Um, you know, I'm looking up these on Amazon right now. Right now on Amazon are $139. So, you know, that's not a inexpensive um, set of headphones. Let me put that down there. 139, 139 bucks though. Not not the cheapest thing in the world. You wanna make sure that you're, you're, you're keeping your investment with that. Um, so the build quality, I'm gonna give it a five. Uh, comfort wise, these are very comfortable headphones. It, it was nice for me to, to test out, I tested out the the small and the medium from the vocal ear tips and then the small from the balanced ear tips and was able to find a good fit. So comfort wise, um, these are very comfortable for me to listen to. I would say is pretty much as good as you're gonna get in a non-custom molded in-ear. Now getting down to the sound quality, which really is the important part, sound quality. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you what my, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, so my total is 25 out of 25. I'm looking for a negative to uh, to give these these guys because I like to, to give some sort of negative feedback, but really and truly they kind of hit a home run here for what, what this is. For a single aperture driver, um, I think on their the listing on Amazon, dual titanium driver 1BA plus 1DD hybrid, Knowles 33518 balanced armature. I'm not exactly sure what uh, if it's one driver or two driver based on that, but I think it's I think it's a single driver, but it says it's a hybrid driver, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. But this is what my ears hear. I do hear clarity in the low end and in the high end. These sound better to me than the Shure 215s. That kind of puts it in perspective. Um, I think that, you know, if you were to compare those two headphones, the Shures are about 100 bucks, these are 139. So you're paying a little bit more, but I, th I think they're more comfortable and they, they have a better sound to them and they are more, uh, you know, 
but probably better quality, especially the, the housing of it. I will say this though, that these tips all sounded different. The, on the vocal side here, these small tips were, I think they might have been a little bit too small for my ears, and so I could hear a little bit more outside, and the bass was not as deep. Um, that being said, I actually kind of, if you listen to any of my reviews on headphones, I don't like super, super deep, deep bass, so that actually could be a good thing. Um, so if you're not wanting super boomy bass, just go down the size in the, the, ear, the ear tips and you might be in good shape. The smalls on the balanced ear tips fit the best. They fit great. They actually are slightly, even though they're both small, I'm going to set them down here. You can kind of see they're, they are slightly larger. The blue ones here fit deeper into your ear canal. So they're going to, uh, it's going to be deeper bass and it is a slightly smaller of a, of a hole. And so it's it's kind of kind of focus that bass deeper inside your ear. Um, the medium ones, they sounded very similar to the small ones, but you can see the difference in the medium and the small. It's a it's a pretty big difference. The the size of the hole is the, is the same, but uh, they were a little less comfortable in my ear. But because they sealed up a little bit more, the 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 sound of them was. It's a little bit more more balanced across all the frequencies, um, but it wasn't as comfortable. This this one for me, the the small for my ears again uh, worked. The small balanced ear tips. Now it had heavy bass. What was interesting is the the high end was still crystal clear, which usually does not happen. Usually, with a single uh, driver headphone. If you have heavy bass, you lose the high end, or you get the high end and you lose the bass clarity. Matter of fact, the bass on this, it um, especially on like uh, yeah, superstition, you hear the kick drum happening. I thought, oh man, this is gonna get really bassy here because the kick drum was just boom, 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 really punchy. But in fact, when the rest of the band kicked in, the vocals kicked in, everything was clear, which is very, very good. So. This is probably about as close to a dual driver um, set of headphones you can get for a single driver. So, Ico, I-K-K-O, I'm not sure if I'm saying that 100% right, the Ico OH1s. Um, you know what, take a listen to them because these might be um, kind of like the, the new headphone on the, the market for, especially for a live playing setting. Um, these just, I mean, they look good. They, 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 it's a good quality looking set of headphones um, and they're gonna last a long time being that they are that they are metal so I like that anyway hopefully you like this review hopefully it was helpful to you if you're considering buying these and uh, Kenneth Russell out I'll see you in another video